Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So this video is a follow-up video on the Gunslinger's holster and its talent and if it's worth it. So if you want to see the first video, if you should farm the uh, holster, I said yes in that video and we talked about some theory crafting. We talked about some advantages of the holster. But in this video, I wanted to compare one of the talents, one of the exotic talents from this holster with another exotic talent that's also available on another item within the game. And so the talent here that I wanted to take out and pick apart is the quick draw talent. And this is, I think, one of the biggest attractions of this holster because a lot of people will probably ignore the sleight of hand talent and the perforator because they're probably not planning on using a sidearm, but will use the quick draw to be able to increase their reload speed significantly. So if you're running maybe, and I'll give two scenarios, a weapon that has a very slow reload speed and the example here, the obvious example is your LMG here, maybe one of your big LMGs like the M60 or maybe the black market M60 in a, or sorry, the classic M60 or whichever big LMG you're running, you're liable to having about a 4% four, four second reload speed, um, you know, variation or something like that. And if you wanted to cut this time down, there are different ways that you can do it. You can use the filler of talent, which is on our uh, brand sets. Uh, on the holsters, that would do a good job for you. If you reload any of your weapons, all your weapons get refilled instantly. So maybe if you're running an SMG and your LMG and you pull out your SMG, you fire it a little bit or an AR, you reload that, everything else gets reloaded. So that's actually pretty good. But that's not as good as, obviously, this uh, Mr. Quick Draw Talent over here, which if you just swap to your sidearm, then at the snap of a finger, everything is all reloaded. But then you also have the evasive talent, which is what's on the agenda today. And does this talent actually hold up in in the sense of reload speed? And there is a small competitive edge that this will have over the quick draw. And there's also a competitive edge that the quick draw will have over the evasive talent, in my opinion. So where would it be appropriate to use both of them? Say perhaps you're running one LMG, your main primary LMG, um, you know, maybe it's an LMG that you've been able to get where you want it to be. It's got unhinge, which is more damage. It's got leg grow and it's got your, you know, favorite passive or holster talent on the final slot. And you don't have a second LMG that can compare to it. And you happen to just have a sweet dreams or lullaby lying around somewhere to use this same talent. Then it is definitely a very wise option to pick on the reload speed that this evasive talent grants you. It is definitely, in my opinion, one of the single handedly one of the best talents that you can find in this game when it comes to exotics. Now, yes, you have the Merciless, which I don't have. I hope I get it one day. And you have some other cool talents that come with some of the other exotics like the Chatterbox. But when it comes to LMG talents, talents that are useful, the evasive talent is definitely one of those that you can use. But I will only recommend it if you're using it in slow firing weapons. Now, another thing on the table, too, is shotguns. Me and my buddy Ubitnik were talking about what shotguns will look like, and he suggested that the evasive talent might be something that works for a lot of our shotguns, the ones that do high damage like your SPAS 12 or uh, maybe one of your, uh, I don't know, one of the pump action shotguns that are very slow to reload. So this might help with them. And, you know, now that we've received a big buff with our LMGs, this is definitely going to be really, really good to have. And the way it works, if you want to see it in real time, is you have your LMG with you. And as you're firing that weapon, you know, if you're down on bullets, you just do a dive roll and bam, you are back to full mag with because of that talent. But now let's look at the gunslinger talent and how that's actually going to work if you were running, say, du two dual LMGs. So two M60s, you're running with, if you have your... Um, little mod based on your gunslinger, you have about 300 bullets, which is your walking damage factory. And so say you run out of bullets with them, with one of them, and then you swap to the other one. Um, let's just try to get down to zero here while show oh, I've already triggered a bunch of NPCs. Well, I guess it'd be good practice. So we switch to the other one and unload into this NPC. He, he doesn't die by uh, yet it's got on hand so it's hard to control there it is it's starting to die 
Okay, and then I swap to this thing, which is uh, three, and then back. Boom, everything's already, everything's already refilled. And so that's where I see the advantage that this has over evasive if you have two LMGs that are really good, two big LMGs that will do the job for you. But if you have only one and you, you, know, you have yourself the evasive talent, then definitely this is going to be what you should run. Now, some people may disagree and say, well, you already have the quick draw. Why bother with the, you know, why bother with this uh, other talent? And, you know, that's actually all fine and dandy. That gives you more options, if I may even suggest. Say you're running an SMG and an LMG or you're running an AR and an LMG, then this is definitely, you know, what you should do. So based on my premise on this whole uh, holster being worth farming i still stand by that the holster is one that has you know some really solid talents and i would say definitely go ahead and farm for it because of just that one talent that it has it's absolutely worth it and you can fit it into your build it doesn't you know you might not have to change your build too much when i looked around i realized that i've actually lost two talents because of the way i added it to this build so if you're using something like unbreakable and safeguard It'll be a little tricky to work it in there. You might have to take a mask that, you know, doesn't have any of this or take a backpack that has maybe two uh, blue mods and one of the utility mods to be able to kind of balance things out. But it is definitely something that you can work into your build. And on the argument, if evasive or this is better, I will say in their own scenarios, they do a good job. And if you wanted to run whichever, you're fine to run whichever you want. But right now, though, based on what we've seen, I see that this gunslinger talent has just a slight advantage. I say a slight advantage, but in your opinion, it might be more of an advantage. It's quick draw talent over the gunslinger, uh, the evasive talent from the Sweet Dreams. So it's really good to have these kinds of problems in the game, honestly, where you have the option to choose between something that's pretty good and something that is really good. And then you have other exotics like the Chatterbox, which, you know, you can build from ground up. You don't have to worry about farming for something like the Sweet Dreams. You can also go build this holster from ground up by getting the pieces. So if you don't have the Sweet Dreams, that's another option for you. So that's my video for today. Thank you guys very much for listening and watching. I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below about these two talents and about the new exotics that we're seeing. If we get some positive feedback, then I feel like the developers are going to start to see that this is creating an interest in the community and then maybe start to release some other ideas that they have for exotic gear items within the game. All right, I'm going to get out of your hair and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.